I don't want to say it. I'm not ready to be hurt again. I can't. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live! That was <laughs> balls. The kingdom. Oh, that what's going on that was the most ridiculous bullcrap long time. I think I mentally died three times while you were, uh, while you were trying to play that level. I had to be resuscitated. Oh, I don't even... This game. Is it time to just quit and never come back to the Meat Boy? <laughs> God. Because you know this is not going to be the only time you see this mechanic. Yeah, it's going to be much harder every other time. Yes, exactly. It's like, now that you've seen it, time it against 15... Th oh! Really? There's a homing one over Just there. right at the end. God. So mean. Why did you want to play this? <laughs> You're gonna need it too. You need to get it to shoot that wall. Oh. There you go. Now go, go, go. Oh, watch out. S throwing saw blades? Throwing saws. <laughs> Flying buzz saws. This game continues Rocket to impress. Rocket launchers, rotating missile shooters. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this. <clears throat> right into it. Let's get topical and, and uh, see if we can just steam refund this. <laughs> so I actually missed the whole hubbub today. Like, I, the hubbub? The, 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 what's the, re re I don't know what's going on. What are you talking, well. With the, with the refunds. That hubbub isn't today, really. Oh. That, but it's, what's, unless there's something new I don't know about. Um, oh, do shit. you know anything? <gasps> <laughs> you know well, nothing, Well, there was a Jon Batman Snow. thing that happened. I still don't know That has nothing that. to do with the Steam, re oh. well, I mean, not Steam specific. With that one. Batman's PC port for the Arkham Knight mm -hmm. has been received so poorly for bugs, like game-breaking bugs, that they actually took it off market. Which I gotta say, I, I'm impressed. Like, right, like that they would do that, that they would hurt their sales that way. Um, so good for them. People were probably requesting a ton of refunds, and that's probably a pain in the butt to process. But still pretty cool that they just kind of did that. Now, if they can get it working and then put it back, that would be really cool, right? <clears throat> but um, I, I've never heard of a game doing that, a, uh, a take-it-off-market thing. Now, the Steam sale, I mean, excuse me, the Steam refunds, that's totally independent. That happened a couple weeks ago. Steam announced that they are going to start allowing a full return policy um, as long as you haven't played X number of hours of the game, which we're, we're way over that. And it's within, like, two weeks from when you bought it. Um, and I, we don't usually do topical stuff on this show, mm -hmm. so, like, I don't want to get too deep into it. But it does make me wonder if it's going to have any effect on the Let's Play community. Hmm. Because how easy would it be, and I'm not saying I would ever do this, but pick up a game, let's play it for an hour or two, and then you've got all the content you need because you don't need to beat the game. You just need right. to get enough episodes to be on the market, and then put your video out there and get your return. Um, I feel like it's very plausible. Granted, I wonder if they have any like you know catches for people who are like, uh, "You've returned 15 games this month," um, but still, it it Ooh. seems interesting. That was good. That was luck right yeah. there. It was nice. Um, yeah, I think the thing is though, like, w what is Steam doing? They're doing a couple things. One, they're being good, you know, uh, video game community Samaritans, right? Like, yeah. Well, part of it's a legal reason. Yes. In the UK and other countries uh, around the world as well, um, they have passed laws um, that you now have to uh, have a return policy. The US doesn't have that policy, but Steam is still adhering to it for their international customers, and they just made it a blanket policy. But it is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with it. I mean... I mean, I think the other thing, though, is, like, how much loyalty will they, will they continue to have? Like, they right. keep doing things right. Right. Like, well, some things wrong. They've made some mistakes, but they fixed them. The mods. Paid mods was the one yeah, that I'm I mean, referring but, to. But that's the thing, though, right? Like, everybody's going to make mistakes. Yeah, they address totally. their mistakes, and that's... I agree. You don't see that in, like, America. <laughs> Steam is in America. That's not true. What? Don't lie to me. <laughs> Valve is definitely in America. Um, but yeah, no, I agree, and I think it's interesting. Well, I just, I feel like we see a ton of, I mean, first of all, we see a ton of Let's Plays, period. But we get, a, in particular, a bunch of indie games that are free getting Let's Played over and over again. I wonder if they are going to start to drop off a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit, in favor of people who are 
buying AAA titles like GTA V, things like that, getting a couple hours worth of video out of it, and then returning it. Hmm, yeah. It's an interesting idea. Um, free game rentals, I guess, for the... You know, for those right? who are yeah. seedy enough to go that route. I don't, um... We got a, we got a visitor. <laughs> Rachel's walking into our very closed off and very protected studio. Welcome to Markiplier! <laughs> Welcome to Markiplier? Is that what he says? <laughs> That's not what he says, oh. usually. He says, hello everybody, it's me, Markiplier. Hi, Rachel. You gotta speak loud. You gotta be Markiplier. Hi! Oh, yeah, there she goes. that's good. Now she's Mark Player. What's going on? We're recording. Great. I brought you a drink. Thank you. I love you. Uh oh. No, I brought you nothing. <laughs> yeah! <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you don't have to yell. You're right on mic. Oh, yeah. Rachel has to yell. I, I got excited and then I got unexcited, but my, my unexcited mode was still kind of just like loudly disappointed. Yeah. That tea is, is much needed. My throat is... No, that's okay. I've got Raging Grape. <laughs> it's true. You will always have your Raging Grape. No, not always. I'm going to drink it all eventually. <laughs> you don't think you're going to go back and get more? Uh, probably not. I'm not a big fan of soda. I just really wanted to have some Raging Grape. You should have just, like, kept it in the package forever. I thought about it. Yeah, I was, never opened it. Then I was it. thirsty. <laughs> okay. Oof. Um, so speaking of topical, how about that Confederate flag? <laughs> oh, God. I don't... I, I, I don't necessarily want to talk on the subject, except yeah. that for, for kind of a different direction, which is, why Confederate flag anymore anyhow? <laughs> like, yeah, well, that's what we were talking about last night, you and I, yeah. kind of off topic, off off podcast, off recording. It's not a podcast. Um, off Let's Play. But because I, you know, so like the, the reason, right, if you want to show any concept, give any, any credit is like, hey, our forefathers stood against a lot of things and slavery is not the only one and not necessarily even the motivator that made them do it that they wanted a local ruled government instead of a... And I, when I say our forefathers, I'm by the way, I'm being someone else. My forefathers weren't there. <laughs> I, mine weren't there at all. <laughs> but, um, and I don't, I don't have Affleck's any interest. Were. I don't have any interest in flying a Confederate flag either. Uh, but, so these people who do, like, they have this, this stance. It's, it's been heavy on my mind because of recent current events, and there was also a major protest outside the art museum here where people were fighting for the for getting rid of some exhibit and they were carrying confederate flags um so it's been like on my mind like why what is wrong with these people they would want to celebrate that and i can see the reason of like hey we stood up for something once upon a time our family members did our, our heritage is that we stood up for something and i can respect that but and this is exactly what i told you last night i can't respect using a symbol that is known to cause so much trouble and agitation and is used as a symbol for people who are hateful like why would you want that to be your symbol and why do you need it in this day and age what other defunct nation not even a nation a nation that didn't exist what other defunct nation still carries their flag you know right put your pride away and try to be nice <laughs> like just don't be a dick to other people is really the the only lesson in life that anyone needs to learn. So why can't these people learn it? Why would they go and protest at an art museum and show flags? And why? Uh, I get into a sticky situation with this because I know I don't want to like make anyone feel belittled. But at the same time, come on, man. <laughs> it's it's weird. I, I remember as a kid in middle school, I was on a, I was in history club. I don't know why I was in history club. Um, I was really I was fourth grade. I was uh, I was in history club. And uh, I went to some Virginian museum that included some Civil War stuff, and I, I wanted to get a, a something to have from the museum. Um, I wanted to get like just a, you know a, some, something from the gift shop, and the flag was cheap. And I bought a little like handheld Confederate flag. I didn't really even know what Civil War was about. Oh wow! Um, but I remember the bus ride back. Uh, Lancaster was a lar like it was a pretty mixed school. Like there was sure, a lot of yeah. white kids, a lot of a lot of African American kids, and it just so happened the history club was more or less all African-American, the bus ride home, I got hell. Like, people were pissed at me uh, for buying that flag, and I didn't really understand. Yeah. But uh, it was it was weird. It was. And that's the thing, right? Like, all of these lessons of hate are taught kind of thing. Like, it doesn't have to be a lesson, but if you let the past kind of disappear a little bit, and you got to have history, right? You've got to have history. But if you let the kind of the vigor behind the Confederate flag fade... 
then would there even have been a problem? Mm. You know, because the other kids wouldn't have known either if there wasn't all of this controversy around it. Um, so that's why I tend to just choose not to care about things vocally anyhow. Like, I never would have brought this up. <laughs> I, never, yeah. I never would have brought this up as a topic. I, I, more or less, I wanted to, you, you, you mentioned topical, and I was like, oh man, I can jump on this. I can make Nick feel awkward. I do. Uh, yeah, that was the goal. I so. do. Merry Christmas. All right, well... We'll continue talking about things that are not this <laughs> next time on Instant Replay Live. Let us not know what you think about this in the comments, but say something happy and nice about someone. Yeah. Spread joy! Bow wow! Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.